Hey everyone, Pat Mitchell here with Trick Trades, and in this free video lesson, I'm going to show you how to create and save scans on Finviz. So let's get into it. Okay, guys, so Finviz. Finviz is a free stock screener um, that's really easy to use and extremely powerful. Uh, I use it all the time on my nightly scans. Um, uh, go to finviz.com. I'll leave the link in the description box below. So make sure to look for that. Um, so I got asked by a, uh, a YouTube subscriber how to save scan so I'll, I'll go over that but since i'm doing a video lesson i might as well just quickly go over how to make a excuse me how to make a scan and uh and how to save it so go to finviz.com uh this is your main screen okay so this will let you know all your your top gainers um what's hitting some support some uh some news some earnings releases uh there's even forex um uh, some, uh, filings, uh, all that, uh, your, your heat map. There's a lot of stuff. These are all your futures. Um, there is a paid version. I wouldn't bother with it. It has pre-market data, uh, but the pre-market data doesn't go live until 9 a.m. So, I mean, ah, there's lots of other free, uh, pre-market data scanners that are out there. So let's go into the screener. So you click the screener. And I've got all my, my presets here. I've got quite a few um, that I use. Um, so let's let's do a, um, let's just go over how to do like a basic scan. So first go over to your main box here and click all. See, these are all the, all the uh, different filters that we have. You can even filter for candlesticks if you're looking for, um, you know, a hammer for a potential bounce or reversal. Um, so first off, let's go to price. And at Trick Trades, we don't really play anything that's, uh, that's over, or sorry, that's under $10. So let's go over $10 at first. Um, we can go to the exchange. Um, we can, we can leave that to any, that's fine. I would prefer NASDAQs or the NYSE, uh, but we'll just leave it on, we'll leave it on any for now. Uh, institutional transactions, there's ownership, there's, I mean, there's all sorts of stuff on here. Uh, so let's go to current volume. We want to make sure it's nice and liquid. So over at least a million shares, like at least that's like, that's minimum. I, I wouldn't want to piss around with anything that's, that's under a million, uh, million shares traded per day. Let's go to an average volume of 750,000 because there can be some off, off days. So I usually go a little bit lower on that. Um, remember you got to start somewhere. You want an average true range of um over over 50 cents right so <clears throat> that that'll um that'll definitely uh help actually you know what we can go over 75 cents let's let's get it filtered down right we don't want too many too many hits right so the average true range or the etr that lets you know over a 14 day period how much it, it ranges during the day and at least 75 cents of range right and that's um that's that's perfect we usually try and find stuff that's more so in the dollar dollar 50 area but like i said before i mean you, you got to start somewhere right um what else could we go with what else could we go with uh relative volume let's go let's go over one and a half okay so you see how much that filters it down quite a bit because it was up to 30 pages now we're at 16 pages so that really helps um maybe we will just filter for nasdaqs right you can do whatever you want on here right guys so now we have five pages so this is a nice little scan um so let's go go into your presets oh actually go to basic okay so click on basic before you hit um 
before you hit uh, save. Because then every time you go to this scanner, this will pop up, right? Like the charts, it'll give you a little bit of information. Uh, leave it. I like it on technical. Uh, if you go to candle, it only gives you, I believe, like a few months. And I like going back at, at least six months so that you can see some nice support and resistance. So there's that. So let's save this before we lose it, okay? So go to save screen. It'll bring you into here, okay? So now you're, this is your, this is your, your screener, right? So now let's name it. Um, let's call it YouTube. YouTube test, okay? So now we have that. Now you want to hit save changes. And that's it. Now, now you're good to go, okay? So now we have a custom built, powerful, free scanner that's good to go so now let's let's scroll down and let's see what type of hits we got so we got apple we got aaxn uh that actually looks pretty good for a bounce it finally bottomed out here looks like it wants to ramp up um we got adobe adobe looks really good let's click on that yeah adobe looks really good and if you want to zoom in a little bit then you can go over to candle okay so now you can see the candle we got a nice uh a nice reversal uh so it, it gapped down it may uh, it may pop back up so i would look at a crossover over friday's high of day um or a potential support test at low of day you know something along those lines to get in on it um so now let's go let's go back okay because i want to show you something Boom, boom, boom. Back to screener. Okay. Now, if you want to share this with, with someone, okay, if you want to share this, this screen, this scanner, just come up here. Copy. And then you just click and paste. You can drag this. You can paste it onto, onto Twitter or wherever you want. Um, also... So now you can go back home, okay? Um, go back into screener. And let's say you're doing a watch list, okay? So here are your tickle tickers, tickles. <laughs> Put in a space or a, um, uh, Okay, so so let's say you have this, right? So now you have this. You can go to charts. You have all your tickers that you plugged in, okay? Right, so this is like a watch list. And now, copy it and then paste it. So some people don't know that you can do that. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's that's all I really have for you. That's all I really wanted to do. I just wanted to do a nice quick little video for you. I hope this helps a lot of you guys out. Uh, there's a couple nice pieces of information in here. So uh, uh, just in review, you now you know how to build your, your screener. You know how to save and name your screener. Uh, you know how to share your screener and now you know how to uh, build a watch list and share a watch list. So I hope you guys enjoyed this free video lesson from Trick Trades. Uh, make sure to check out the videos that are popping up around you right now and uh, make sure to come check us out. As you can see in the right down below there. Uh, Come visit tricktrades.com and use uh, discount code uh, or coupon code TRICK20, all lowercase, for 20% off your first month. Come give us a try. I know you won't, uh, you won't regret it. So come check that out, and uh, we'll see you guys. Adios.